Cranking Trailer Landing Gear. This video was created by the Kentucky Occupational Safety and Health Surveillance Program in partnership with Midwestern Insurance Alliance. Injuries to drivers while cranking their trailer landing gear occur all too often and for various reasons. Sometimes loaded trailers are dropped too low and must be raised so that the tractor can be backed underneath. Sometimes trailers are parked too closely together for the driver to position his or her body properly. Sometimes drivers get in a hurry and attempt to crank the trailer landing gear too quickly. And sometimes an uneven surface, poor maintenance, or damage to the internal gears from trailers being abused cause the trailer landing gear to catch or bind while the driver is cranking. As with any task, your first responsibility is to look for hazards that might increase the likelihood that you will be injured. If a loaded trailer was dropped too low, get the yard hostler to lift the trailer and reposition the trailer legs so that you can back your tractor under the trailer. If the trailer is sitting on uneven surface, or if the trailer is positioned so close to another trailer that you cannot safely crank the trailer landing gear, get the yard hostler to move the trailer so that you can perform your job safely. When there is still weight on the dolly legs or when the trailer landing gear is difficult to crank, place the crank handle in low gear and position your body parallel with the trailer but further away from the trailer than the handle extends. Standing closer to the trailer may be more ergonomically correct but it places your head and arms inside the swing radius, which can be extremely dangerous if the crank handle recoils and is ripped from your hands. With your feet shoulder width apart and one foot slightly in front of the other, grip the crank handle firmly with two hands and crank the landing gear until weight is off the dolly legs and the crank handle is easier to turn. With the weight off the dolly legs and the crank handle easy to turn, reposition your body so that you are facing the trailer directly in front of the crank handle and place one hand on the trailer for stability. Stand further back than the crank handle extends from the trailer, but not so far back that you're leaning against the trailer. Leaning forward onto the trailer places your head and face inside the swing radius and will cause you to fall forward toward the trailer if the crank handle recoils and is ripped from your hands. Then, with your feet shoulder width apart, grip the crank handle firmly and slowly crank. Crank the landing gear in high gear only when both dolly legs are not in contact with the ground and the crank handle turns easily. Never spin the crank handle as it could easily slip and strike you on the hand, wrist, or face. When dropping a trailer, position it on level ground and ensure that the feet of both dolly legs are in contact with the ground before pulling out from underneath the trailer as dropping the trailer from any height contributes to damage to the internal mechanism of the landing gear. Following these techniques will help prevent injuries. However, remember that trailers that have been abused, improperly maintained, or that are sitting on an uneven surface may unexpectedly bind and recoil with enough force to rip the crank handle out of your hands. And you never know when that might happen. Make it a top priority to keep your head and face outside of the swing radius, whether cranking with weight on the landing gear or not. Report any problems with the operation of trailer landing gear to your company maintenance department and annotate it in your DVIR. Get more resources that address this topic at truckingworkerscomp.com slash get more.